Drumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly with his song I heard he sang a good song I heard he had a style And so I came to see him And listen for a while And there he was, this young boy a stranger to my eyes Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly with his song. Hi, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Killing Me Softly with his song. Beautiful tune, this one. A uh, huge hit back in the early 70s for Roberta Flack, later covered by the Fugees. Uh, if you want to play the Fugees one, you don't need the capo, right? I've put the capo on the first fret, which is what you need to do if you're going to play along with the Roberta Flack version. Um, there's lots of different ways of playing this. I quite often see it played finger style, uh, which you can do as well. I'm going to show you first of all like a kind of a strumming version, but uh, you can really, this is the kind of tune that you can play, you know, up to your own interpretation of how you want to do it. Um, but we're going to start off with just looking at kind of the chord sequences and a, a very basic strumming, of course, because that's how we always should start. So. If we're going to play this song just using four down strums to the bar, like really keeping it simple, okay? Uh, this song's a little unusual in that it starts with a chorus. So we're going to be looking at the chorus chord sequence first. So uh, we'll be starting off with an E minor. I'm assuming you know how to play these chords as well. If not, then uh, go and check out the lessons on uh, my beginner's course on the website. So uh, we're starting with an E minor. Three, four. E minor, my pain with his A minor. Softly with a song, killing me deep with C song, telling my G life with C words, killing me F major seven for two bars with his E. chord is also for two bars. So if you want to write those chords down, we've got E minor, A minor, D, G, E minor, A major, D, C, G, C, F major seventh for two bars, and then E major for two bars. So it's a really good, lots of different chords being used here. There's quite a few kind of subtle little key changes in there. Let me just play it through one more time without the vocal, just so you make sure that you've got all of this, all of those chords right. So three, four, E minor to A minor, D going to G, E minor. A major to D to C then to G to C then to F major 7 and then to E major Now, 
couple of questions uh, that I'll answer before you ask them. Uh, F major seventh. A uh, few different ways of playing that one. The easiest one is just to start with your third finger in the fourth string, third fret, as second finger, second fret, third string, first finger, first fret, second string, and open thinnest E string just those thinnest four strings. That's a perfectly fine way of playing an F major seven. If you want to make it a little fuller sounding, start with that one, move your third finger over to the third fret of the fifth string and put little finger down uh, where third finger was, which was third fret of the fourth string. Now you can strum five strings, so all of the strings except the thicker string. Now the one that I tend to play more often is using my thumb to kind of reach over and play that low note F, and then the top part is the same as that first version I showed you, just using your third finger, second finger, first finger, open, but now with that bass note as well. Now it's definitely not a beginner's thing. It took me many years to be able to get the thumb over to play that, that sort of stuff, so don't be at all surprised if you find that difficult if you've been playing guitar for a few weeks, right? So, uh, uh, but you might want to, you know, some of you that have got big hands, you might find that fairly easy to do, and, and that's okay to, to do it that way. It does kind of sound nice to have that bass note in there. So uh, let's look at the verse chords now. So we're starting off with an A minor. Three, four, A minor. I heard he did a good song, G. I heard he see a star, A minor. And so I did to see him an E minor four to bars. A minor. And there he did this young boy, G, a stranger to be seven. Then we are back to the chorus. Okay, so one more time, let's go through the verse. A minor, D, G, C, A minor, D, E minor, E minor, A minor, D, G, B7. Okay, I'll play it one more time now without the vocal end. So three, four, A minor, to D, to G, to C. A minor to D to E minor for two bars. A minor to D G to B7. And that's the tune. It's just bouncing around between those two bits. So first stage is just to make sure that you get that real simple four down strumming and make sure that you're hit with the chord changes because for most beginner guitar players that's the big deal is making sure there's no stops between the chord changes. Once you've got that, then you want to start thinking about applying some strumming or some a little bit more interest in there. Now the strumming pattern that I think sounds great on this tune is your regular old what I call old faithful, down, down, up, up, down. So if we just apply that. So straight away, adding that strumming pattern, it's, made it a, it's given it a whole lot more life. But there are many different things you could do. You could definitely do, later in the beginner's course, I talk a little bit about picked finger style. Actually, maybe that might be the intermediate course. No, I can't remember. I'm confusing myself. But uh, if you, when you get to picked finger style, wherever that is in whichever course, you might want to apply that because it's lovely in this one. So it's basically kind of like doing finger style, but using a pick to pick out notes. set pattern, I'm just kind of making up stuff. 
you know, you, you can really kind of experiment with that kind of thing, you know, and it, it'll probably end up sounding pretty decent. If you want to do it finger style, definitely. <laughs> something simple like that works just doing thumb one two three two one one and two and three and four one and two and three and four of course the thumb will move depending on what the bass note of the chord is but the other fingers just stay on the thinnest three strings uh, not concentrating just on what the chords are okay so, little uh, lesson there for you. Make sure that you know what the chords are before you start playing your fingerstyle pattern. <clears throat> um, but definitely, you know that kind of fingerstyle thing works really well, and you can take it as far as you like. You could you could get some quite complicated kind of uh, fingerstyle patterns going on if you wanted to, or you can just keep it simple. And to be honest, usually on a beautiful tune like this, it doesn't need anything complicated. So keeping it simple and allowing the vocals to do their thing is uh, probably where it's at. That would be my recommendation anyway. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed playing this tune. It's a wonderful song. And uh, I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs and stuff very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.